Hi guys, welcome to another studio vlog. It's been a while. I've been a little bit um, how do I say it? <laughs> I've been out of YouTube at least on this channel for a while. Uh, a lot of things had happened have happened. A lot of things have happened. Um, I actually record a few studio vlogs uh, in the past, but I've never uploaded them because they were not completed. I felt that they were not fully there. And so I took a step back and thought, okay, when I have more things to show, I will show them. And fortunately, this month, um, May, um, has been a really good month. I've been really productive, um, which is good. Um, the beginning of the year was a little bit shaky. I had a lot of ideas. I still have a lot of ideas, which is a good thing. But sometimes like, in having ideas and putting them in, in process or making them. Uh, sometimes it's not the easiest, at least for me, and I struggled a lot uh, in the past months to months to maybe years uh, to make some things happen and I was really I was struggling with fear to fail uh, or feel fear of failure and you know fear to to not do right um, it's not a question of perfection because I'm not a perfectionist but I think I had a fear of action so yeah it's been a work in progress uh, and uh, but but now I, I I've been doing a lot of things I want to show a few of them I hope it's possible to show a, a few of my work so I've been working in making products for Nuts for Paper, which is my stationery and illustration brand. And I, at the moment, I'm working in the planners for 2019-2020. So like the the scholar scholar no not scholar the school planners. Um, so the school it's not over, but I'm already thinking in back to school. <laughs> So, and, and I'm a little bit, I should have all of these things planned a little bit earlier, but, well, it doesn't matter if I should, what matter is, they are being done. Now, my process goes from sketches, like, in this case, I revisit some, ooh, okay, can I show? Uh, I revisit some old sketches that I did for other projects because I wanted to do uh, similar things. And then I'll do a f um, more refined sketch on this kind of paper. Okay, it, it, you can see the drawing because it's done in pencil. Um, so this is a possibility for a cover of a planner. Usually. Nuts for paper planners are, I wanted to show, okay, these ones are all with illustrations. But usually they were like this with patterns. So that's the, the, the usual or like this. This, this is last year uh, back to school planner it's actually the monthly planner I use it to plan my my other channel uh, which is a book related channel and um, so it's really simple you have like the monthly view and then you have uh, two two no two, yes two <laughs> two extra no they're not two they are four extra pages for writing and you can see I use <laughs> I use this one a lot um, but this year I wanted to do something that I started to do for the 2019 planners planners uh, which is having an illustration on the cover and maybe on the back cover 
Um, I'm still developing this these ideas. Uh, the inside is gonna be like similar, so this is like um, also a monthly planner, and this one is the weekly planner. Um, I, I want to show a, a blank page. Okay, so the, the on this side you have the week, and here you have a lot of uh, space to write whatever you want. So I use it like this. Um, I track my Instagram posts, my YouTube posts, my me going to the gym. Uh, this is a drawing challenge that I'm... It's not exactly a drawing challenge. It's more like uh, I want to record if I'm drawing every day or almost every day. Then I have goals and brainstorm or things that I want to think about this week. So these are most likely the, the planners. Uh, and I will be doing the the 2019 slash 2020 uh, versions, and I have some possibilities. I also usually do an A6. These are A5, but I usually I also have a A6 version, which is weekly and monthly. And so okay. this is one of the drawings that I am considering. It's an owl. And this one too. I'm also thinking, I can show this one later and on another theme. So this is probably other drawing that I'm considering for an A5 um, planner cover. This one is a little bit more minimalistic, which I like. I have a tendency to do this on covers, like really, really um, fill the page with drawings. Um, I guess this is a, a thing that I usually do with, with patterns, so sometimes with illustrations I have to step back a little bit and think twice. Um, but these are the drawings for that. I also thought that maybe for an A6 I could use this cat drawing. Um, if not for the, the back to school planners, uh, maybe for the 2020 ones or the 2020 ones, as you prefer to say it. Um, I'm also thinking, uh, and this is something that I usually don't do, I don't do portraits uh, a lot, uh, but I was thinking using this uh, drawing of Frida Kahlo for uh, some, some notebooks some A6, A6 uh, jotters, journals, how do you want to call it. Um, I'm also toying or playing with idea of uh, doing some things different because my, my background is not just illustration but also graphic design and um, photography is one of my hobbies and I was thinking making some photography uh, base notebooks. Um, this means having um, covered with uh, photograph photography or a photograph, and um, then play a play a little bit with that. Also, try it's it's something that I want to explore a more not just this with ph photography, but also have a more plain uh, notebooks like where I can play with texture of the paper and do a more minimalistic approach, which is something that's not very usual in my brand, but it's something that I also enjoy and I want to explore this uh, more minimalistic approach because I know that some of my drawings are very... Uh, they look a lot like children illustration, which is not a bad thing. I have to keep reminding myself that it's not a bad thing. Uh, but sometimes it's it's not just that that I want to be known for. Uh, I want to... I like a lot of things. I have a, a broad taste um, in, in aesthetics. So I, I think that I want to explore this more... Uh, I don't know. I mean, I know. It's, it, it's things related with textures and visual textures and paper textures. So that's also one thing that I'm working on, but at the moment I still don't have much to show. 
And the most recent thing that I'm very proud of are some uh, notepads that I've recently done. Um, these are like uh, notepads slash planners, but they are undated, so people can use them whenever they want. And uh, these, I decided the first ones that I made to be based off um, the brand mascot, or um, which is a squirrel. It's sh shubby. It's a shubby squirrel, <laughs> which is um, which is also named Shubby, and. Um, yeah, so the first one, it's this, okay, this is a lot of light, um, this um, daily sort of planner, which I call the Busy Critter to-do list, and here in the corner you have Chubby, very busy, answering the phone and working on a lot of papers. Uh, it has space for things to do in the morning or things to do in the afternoon, and also space for notes. Everything that I've been doing recently is I usually use this uh, dot grid because I think it's easier to write no matter how large or small your um, you write. Um, it's also it, this also means that if anyone wants to doodle or draw. Uh, in these notepads, they have space for it. You're not constrained by lines. And it's something that I've been using also on my... This is my, my bullet journal, also made by me. And I've been using this for, I don't know, almost two years maybe? And I really enjoy it because I can... I can do pretty much everything. This is like my daily note-taking. I can do, I wanted to show a place that has drawings, I can do weekly planning if I want to, which I usually don't do here, but I was trying. So yeah, I can do, I can plan graphics here, I can do, like this is preparation for another product that I'll be launching soon, so there's this good thing about uh, dot grid that you can actually use it for a lot of things. Uh, I think it's more versatile than the lines only. I also I like the um, the grid, actually completely uh, draw, but you either have to, to have it really uh, with thin lines or um, in gray, so you can work it. You can work over it. Um, but also it constrains a lot because on this one you don't you don't have the lines you can go over or under and it doesn't matter visually you will, the first thing that you will see will be the things that you're writing not the grid so so i think that's one of the good things about the dot grid this one is a weekly planner it's called live in the moment uh it has all the weekdays and then the weekend it's uh, shorter and also have all of this side for notes. One of the things that I've been very particular is having a space for people to write the month and the year because I know some people like to keep these sheets, um, others throw it away. Uh, but I, on previous notepads, I noticed that I didn't let the space for this and I always need it because sometimes I use this kind of notepad and then I glue it on my daily notebook or my daily bullet journal and um, it was easier if I knew the month and year and just not have like one two three and the dates and yeah so I, I, I was very particular when I was designing these ones to have it like space for month and year and then I did um, a monthly. This is actually um, a, a test page, which uh, I'm, I'm testing the month of June. So I already filled some a few things that I have to do, but I can show it uh, without. Um, ooh, yes, without anything in it. So it also has the dot grid. It has the Monday to Sunday, 
you have a little space here where you can put the month that you're the month at a glance or uh maybe the next month if you have things that you want to you know have start have written for the next month it's also it's also in live in the moment because i think this illustration in particular works very well it, it i think it transmits a lot of calm and um i think that's a good thing to have in a planner you know have a calm everything will be fine everything will work out if not on the day that you want the next day or the other so i think that that's a good thing to have a, a calm and illustration in a planner um, and also you can see i also have it there because it's it's a reminder to, you know live in the moment don't worry about what's going to be tomorrow everything will be fine so these are the things that i've been doing recently uh i think that uh, i'll be filming more uh studio vlogs soon and i still have to do a studio tour of this year because my my natural paper studio actually changed a little bit since the last time and uh, i'm excited to show the things that i'm working on and uh, the things that i'll be working on the next month i hope you enjoyed this um this vlog and until the next one have a nice time <music>